With an FC TV with Chris Agata looking ahead to Saturday's match against St Albans. Chris, what are your thoughts heading into this one? Uh, looking forward to it. Um, yeah, similar to the Western game, really sort of appreciative of the fact they're a very good side. I mean, we've, we watched them against Maidstone. I thought they were very unlucky to actually not beat Maidstone. Certainly um, not to get at least a point out of it. They were, they were very good. Um, so that we realise it's going to be a really tough game. Um, I think they will be one of the best teams in the division. Um, they play some very, very good football. Um, so we, yeah, we appreciate it's going to be a tough test, but we look forward to it. Can't really go without speaking about last weekend for this <laughs> preview. Uh, have you had time to digest that? And, and what are your main takeaways from that game? Yeah, of just um, just really what we said after the game. First and foremost, like the players' reaction and their mentality is is uh, it's bulletproof really. I mean, for them to have come out of that situation with three points, um, you know, it, it says so much about the group in terms of, as I said, their mentality and their character and uh, it can take you so far. Do you know what I mean? It is so important. I mean, we could, we could get it completely wrong tactically and um, we will always be very competitive when you've got a group of players with the quality we've got and also that mentality and character. So that's the biggest takeaway. Um, we, we were really pleased with how we played as well. I mean, like we said at the time, we were 3-0 down and felt we were playing very well. Um, so, yeah, just very, very pleased, but also excited because we know that, you know, we've managed to score four goals in 48 minutes of National League South football and we're nowhere near the team that we will be. So that's, uh, that's exciting moving forwards. Just how important is that as a result as well? Not just winning on the opening day and getting three points, but the manner in which they, they sort of came, came back to win that game. Yeah, right? <clears throat> like as a reference point in terms of, you know, because we're going to have difficult situations this year um, and for us to be able to refer back to that and look each other in the eye and look around the room and go, do you know what, we've been in a more difficult place than this before and we've come out of it with... Um, with three points, I think um, yeah, I think it'll be really important for the group moving forwards and uh, equally buying to what we're doing. I mean, we, we bang on about keeping possession of the ball and um, you know playing with control and not forcing the football and putting miles in the opposition's legs and grinding teams down. And we've scored three late goals. So, in terms of sort of reinforcing what we're going after uh, and the importance of us having the football and having possession and albeit purposeful possession, I think it, yeah, it's sort of, as I said, the existing players, they, they know the, you know, they know the script, you know, they've been at Worthing a while and they understand that this is the way the club plays and they've seen the benefits of that, whereas the new faces that are coming that are perhaps not as um, accustomed to this way of playing, um, I think it's great for them in terms of seeing the, the benefits of that type of football. And turning attentions to Saturday, looking at St Albans, I'm assuming you've watched plenty of them as yeah. well as you did with Western. Yeah. What is it that you can expect from them as an opposition? Uh, so I think they're, they're as good as anyone in the division, I, I do. I mean, they've got a lot of quality. Um, as I said, they've <coughs> they play some very good football. Um, yeah, and, and going back to the Maystone game that we watched, we, you know, we, we felt they, were, they deserved at least a point in that game. Uh, they were very, very good value for at least a point. So. Um, yeah, we acknowledge it's going to be a really tough test um, and we're really respectful of their threat. Um, so what we'll do is, <clears throat> well, what we've done all week really, we've, we've watched them, we've watched not just the Maystone game but uh, pretty much every game in pre-season and you know, we'll, you know, we think we'll come up with a decent plan to try and cause them problems and like I said last week, negate their threats. Um, but it's going to be a good game and just looking forward to it. And looking at the squad, are there any uh, injury doubts as you head into this one? Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, got one or two, um, which is not ideal, um, but you know, it's the importance of the squad. And um, like we saw last week, <coughs> the importance of the substitute bench being able to make an impact. So, um, you, know, we, you know, we're not... Um, you know, we're not as loaded as we perhaps would have liked, especially with... Uh, a test the size of St Albans but equally it's an opportunity for others in the squad to to step up and um, contribute just like they did last week at Weston. Cheers Aggie, all the best. Thank you very much, thank you.